This strategy is full proof. It is magic, but it's also very simple. How I manifest anything I want. I just got my nose on, by the way. <laughs> How I manifest anything I want. When I say anything, I mean anything and everything. Everything I want, I get. Not in an egotistical way. I don't care if it is. I want it, I see it, I get it. Whatever the Ariana Grande song is. Anytime I say I want to manifest that, I get it. And I'm going to be telling you my secret, special, saucy tips. I know everyone says, oh, you haven't heard them anywhere. You haven't heard these anywhere. I'm telling you, you leave down in the comments if you've heard these before, because I guarantee you haven't. Do you want regular tips or do you want secret, special, saucy tips? I manifested a glow up. I manifested weight loss. I manifested healing chronic illness. Chronic illness. Supposed to be forever. I manifested 50k. There's so many things that I've manifested. Those are just the ones that I've documented on YouTube. So how have I manifested these, you ask? Did I just pray? Did it just fall into my hands? No. This is exactly how to manifest anything you want. This strategy is full proof. I've proved it to myself time and time and time and time again. So I'm telling you my full proof recipe for manifesting anything you want anything so everyone says oh you need to believe it to achieve it you need to have core belief you need to say all these affirmations to make you believe that you're in the frequency of it you know i am wealthy i am happy you're like saying these affirmations but you're not it and you're like well i'm saying them but i don't really believe it the belief the core belief my friend, is everything. If you don't believe it, it's not gonna happen. And when I say core belief, you can have doubts. You can have these negative thoughts. That is fine, that is normal. But the core belief that you're gonna achieve it has to be there. You just have to know. You have to believe. But more than belief, you have to know. For example, you're in the gym. This is a great analogy. You're in the gym and you're wanting to gain muscle. And you're going in every day and you're doing in the work and you're doing the nutrition but you can't see the results but you know with consistency you are gonna gain muscle you know because it has to you may be thinking oh why is it not happening yet why am i still overweight or why do i still not have muscle but you were putting in the time even though you have doubts you know deep down and that's what you need to apply to all your manifestations. How do you apply this? How do you get the knowing? With this sentence. If you keep going, you can't fail. I know, you've heard it before. I know. <laughs> but it's so true. Every time, I've just never given up, despite the external, despite how hard it is, despite not seeing any results. Yet, I just kept going and eventually it manifested. I just kept trusting, I just kept putting in the work, the action steps, whatever it was that I was manifesting, I just kept believing. So I just kept applying those action steps, believing and knowing that it was gonna manifest and the opportunities came to me. 90% of all businesses fail, why? It's not because they were rubbish, it's not because of this, it's not because they lost money, it's not because... No. <laughs> they gave up. They gave up and the universe was like, okay, bye. You don't believe you're going to be successful? Okay, then you're not. But if you don't give up, then you will achieve it. Because the universe sees your unwillingness to give up and you're knowing that you're going to achieve it and it then hands you the opportunities. For example, I wanted to lose weight. I really struggled with losing weight. It was a really tough battle for me. And I was trying everything, I was doing it, and it was nothing was working and blah, 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 blah. But I never gave up. Months and months and months, for my story, it was very hard. I never gave up. And the universe saw my unwillingness to give up and it handed me the manifestation. We've seen you're not giving up, so you believe you're gonna have it. You know you're gonna have it, so here it is. 
That is what happens when you don't give up. My dad owned his own business. They had the 2008 crash. Because of the situation, he then stopped the business. It got too hard. There was too many obstacles. Maybe it's not meant to be. He didn't say that, but that's what you can think. And because of that, he stopped the business. It was extremely freaking successful before the, the hard times came. But if everything in life is like this, it's when you face an obstacle, it doesn't mean give up, it means keep going. That's part of life. If everything was easy, if everything was good, life would be boring. You would be bored. Obstacles are challenges. When you see an obstacle, that's what makes life fulfilling. So if you're in a period of obstacle right now, a period of challenge, just know this is the freaking best bit. When you're watching a movie, what is the best bit? Is it the challenge and then they overcome the challenge and you're like, yay, they overcome. Or is it like the, the mundane, oh, everything's fine, everything's good, everything, no. The challenge is the best bit. Appreciate the challenge. I'm gonna tell you my special concept that I came up with. When you are in doubt, when you are thinking, why me? Am I able to achieve this? I'm not worthy. I'm doing everything, nothing's happening. Maybe I should just give up. Remember this. You all heard of the idea, you are the main character. I take this to another level. I like to believe in the metaphor that life is a game and you are the main character of the game. Everybody else isn't real. Everybody else is just side characters of the game. They're the NPCs. You could be the only one here. You will never know. You will absolutely never know that you are the only one here. You never know. The world may revolve around you. You'll never know. So why not say that's your advantage? Whenever I have doubts, when I am ever going through this period, I take on this belief system I am the only person here. And then life gets fun. Make up rules, make up cheat codes. That's what I do sometimes. And I kid you not, it works. And it's kind of scary when I think about it because it's like, damn, <laughs> maybe I am the only one here. For example, I tell myself, uh, my nose can get slimmer. Like, I'm just gonna do this gua sha a couple of times a week and it's gonna get smaller. And it freaking did. If you're the only one here, you can create the loopholes. If you are the main character, you are writing your own story. Make stuff up. When you believe that something can happen enough, it will happen. Blind pigs, for example, I don't really believe that's gonna happen. So it doesn't. If I started to believe it, maybe. <laughs> this is how you manifest things that are seemingly impossible. If you've ever done the impossible, you know that this is a possibility. A mindset tip that I like to use is YOLO, but reincarnation. At the end of the day, fuck it, we ball. You're legit gonna die, right? I know it's morbid, but if that is gonna happen, why would you play it safe? Why would you not want everything you desire? Your desires are given to you for a reason. They're uniquely yours. Not everyone has the same two desires. The universe gave you those desires and you're just gonna stick and play it safe in your little fucking comfort zone and not experience everything and anything. The universe literally wants you to have your desires. The universe gave them to you and you don't think you're worthy. Worthiness is just a perception anyway. Everyone was born worthy. If you're the only one here, how can you not be worthy? You, you, you've attained all the worthiness. Like, worthiness, what even is worthiness? What does that even mean? If you're the only one here, worthiness does not exist because there's no one to compare you to. Now, why I like this concept as well, YOLO but reincarnation. It's like a little safety blanket, right? It's like, well, I'm gonna come back anyways. So, I might as well make the most of my talents, my skills, my abilities, my life that I've been given, that I've been born into. All the advantages that I've got, I might as well take full advantage of them because I'm probably not going to get these exact set of skills again. So with the gifts that I've been given, I take full advantage. For example, I love speaking. I love entertaining. I love teaching. And I love helping others. Just watch this space. Watch this space. I'm getting consistent now. You motherfuckers made a watch out. 
In another life, I may be inaudible. So I've got to take full advantage of this gift that I've been given by the universe because it wants me to pursue it. Now my secret special strategy. This formula I use over and over again is proven. I'm not selling it. It's free. It is magic. But it's also very simple. Visualize. No. Don't give up till I achieve it. That's it. Decide what you want. Visualize it. I'm a visualizer. Maybe you're not, but this is what I do. I visualize it and I keep it in my mind all day. When you visualize in the morning, for example, you do a visualization meditation, you repeatedly do that for a week. After you're clear, you're crystal clear, you've done it for a week, you've rehearsed it for a week, then that is in your mind all the time. When you have those images, they are then programmed in your subconscious mind all day. All day, as you're going along your daily business, I just have it in the back of my mind. Okay, this is where I'm going. So you then see opportunities, you know, law of attraction. So you see opportunities that are gonna help you achieve it. That's step one. Step two, no. Talked a bit about knowing. I don't think I really need to explain it more. Belief is like gold. Knowing is platinum. Knowing will get you there. And don't stop until you get it. You keep going, you can't fail. It is impossible, bruh. <laughs> it's literally impossible. I heard a story about a skier. He went to the first training, he was crap. He was no freaking talent. But he kept going, he worked harder than everyone else. He wanted it, he wanted it. So he developed the skills. People say, oh, they're just not talented. Oh, I'm just not talented. Then work. If you want something, it will happen if you keep going until you achieve it. As I said, I have manifested everything that I've wanted with this. It works. And it's simple, but it's not easy. <laughs> Working hard and never giving up is not for the faint hearted. It's not for the weak. And that's why if you want to achieve something extraordinary, it's extraordinary for a reason. The ordinary people don't achieve it because you actually have to do shit to get it. If you want to manifest something ordinary, then you don't need to never give up until you achieve it because it's easy to get. If you want to achieve something great, never give up until you achieve it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe if you have enjoyed and gained something out of it. I will see you in the next one. Happy manifesting.